This is a quick demonstration on how to design a partial denture framework with the Design app. First, you will need the scan data, single cylinder STL, and a group of cylinders. Upload the files into the Design app. Organize your files from the beginning because we are going to use them interchangeably to create multiple sets of data during this process. Go to Edit Mode and duplicate the framework area. Be sure to give an offset for the gap. For the guide plane and clasps, use the Blockout Undercut tool to create a blocked out model. Now we are going to make clasps from the offset given in the duplicated model data. Leave teeth and remove the space right above the undercut area. Now we are going to make the framework with the rest and guide plane. Trim for the framework from the blocked out model, except the clasps. Use the Combine tool to merge the clasps and framework data together. The Combine tool is useful when you want to merge two chunks of data into one while maintaining their original shape. Use the Bridge tool to connect the guide plane and clasps. The Bridge tool is useful when you want to connect plane to plane over an empty space.
give thickness with the thicken tool. Use the smooth surface tool to smooth out the framework, except beneath the rest and clasps. Use the sculpting tool to adjust the shape of the clasps, rests, and finish line. Go to Transformation and Edit Mode back and forth to locate the group of cylinders for the saddle holes. Use the cut tool to make holes. Go to transformation and edit mode back and forth to scale and place the tissue stops. Use the base and give a smaller amount of offset than the first offset given data. Cut the tissue stops with the offset given base. Use the Boolean Union tool to merge the tissue stop and the partial frame together. Now you have a partial denture framework.